This is Bob with RealTVFilms.com. We're here at Hollywood Billiards in Hollywood, California, covering the Beverly Hills Shorts Festival. I'm with two gentlemen that are part of La La Land, which is one of the movies that's premiering here at this festival. Nice to have you guys here. I'm going to introduce them as Mike Caravella. Right. Right? That's and right. we've got Jason Gaida. Yes. Jason, good to meet you guys. Thanks like for joining one. us here at Real TV Films. Right. Now, tell me a little bit about the film. All right. Well, the film's basically, long story short, it's Dumb and Dumber meets Get Shorty. Or we affectionately called it while during shooting more more entourage. More entourage. <laughs> it's right. uh, basically oh, that's good. <laughs> it's about a stereotypical New York Italian guy comes to Los Angeles to become an actor and uh, chaos ensues. Yes, he gets involved with some uh, producers, uh, ne'er do wells, that uh, try to abuse his image, and he says, "Oh my God!" You know, he's going to shake down some people. And he says, "I could use this as an opportunity to make a reel." So he's got his great reel, and he shows it to them. They think, "Oh my God, this guy's blackmailing us," and from there. Merriment ensues. How long is this movie? 26 minutes. Yeah. Get the hell out of there. The pigs are coming. Next. Mamma mia. Who wants pizza? So, how'd it go today? Nah. The usual. What you need is one of them big shot agents. Like that Jerry Flaxman guy. Jerry Flaxman. Jerry Flaxman. Now, um... All action, no slaction. <laughs> That's good. Did you practice that? He did. He came right up. Yeah, right, I practiced good. it and goes down. Now, you wore a couple hats in this film. We co-wrote it together. Right. And I'm also a producer on it. Jason directed it, and I'm the lead actor in it as well. Right. So. Now, directing the film, was it hard to direct this guy? Uh, it was fun. There was a lot of exercises that uh, him and his friend Doran from New York came in, and we got to, I said, let me spend time just working with you guys without a camera or anything. I want to get into this. So he's like, okay, this is a guy we studied from. Here's how we do stuff. And he made me do all the stuff. I do the breathing exercises, the running around, the intimate sharing. And really, so it was really cool. It was like going to acting school. And uh, yeah. Aside from having him get real mad and hit me, everything was great. Okay, look, you want the car, you want my wallet, just take it, okay? I just want to give you something. Okay, look, this is how it works in Hollywood, okay? You gotta have footage of yourself so people can see what you look like on camera. I should record myself acting. Yeah, that's right. You and your acting friend should record some acting scenes together on camera. So you got anything for me? I'm not speaking English. Right now, um, yeah, and also he's like the producer. Right. So you can't really like fire him, right? No. Well, no, it was kind of one of those things where I co-wrote it and I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. He's like, Jason, I want you behind the camera. And I'm like, what? Really? Yeah. Okay. He's like, you wrote it. You're the only other person that really knows what it's supposed to turn out like, which was really an honor because Mike is, you know, I've never seen anybody that comes in and says, let's do this. And nine months later, we're doing it. Right. Where did La La Land come from? To who, who created this? Well, Jason actually had the original idea. I was trying to work him into a friend of mine's play. And I said, what if we had this great, this hitman that, you know, wants to be in some movies. So whenever he does any of his business, he's got a camera there or here to tape it. And when I told him that, he's like, let's just have a short about that. Can we have a short about that? We were at a deli one lunch and he just had this big grin like, let's do that. And then my friend, the play fell through. So we're like, let's do it. What is it with these agents these days? They, they all think they're mobsters. Let's show them how a real mobsters operate. I think I know a guy. I got an offer for you. How'd you like to make some money? Yeah. Is it in TV or movies? We need you to speak to an agent for us. I mean, the son of a bitch bleeds me dry for every nickel I got. Come on, Mikey. It's acting. It's acting? Yeah, it's not like you gotta hurt anybody. Oh! Oh! So I hear you're making life difficult for my friend Alan Gilstein. Get your hands off me. What are you talking about? Rolling and action. Listen, dude, I don't know what you did. I don't want to know what you did. But whatever you did, it must have been fantastic. You signed the deal today. That son of a bitch is going to try and blackmail us. They can tie us to every one of those people on there. What the hell are we going to do? How long did it take to film this? It took about four days, but it seemed like about a month because it was the hottest weekend in recorded history. We had him, and I wish the guys were here earlier, they did a fight scene 
at 126 degrees in Hollywood in the middle of the pavement. It took four hours. Yeah. They all had blisters on their hands because he plays an ex-amateur wrestler. And he demanded <laughs> an entire wrestling fight with a Hulk Hogan leg drop. And I don't know how, but we found a guy who was an ex-wrestler to do the whole bit. Well, there's a lot of kooks up there. You can find people like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I'm like, was it really that hard, though? Right. Yeah. Well, well, how fun. This sounds like uh, a great movie. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully everybody enjoys it. I, the, we had a blast doing it, and it's, uh, it's, been, a, it's been a fun ride. Robert Russell is one of my co-stars, and he's been around for a long time, and he was great fun and a great guy to work with. And uh, yeah. There's good people involved. It's, I think it's really funny. I think people are going to have a good time watching it. I just want to say uh, to Joe DiZanero, the uh, guy who DP'd this for us, he made everything look good and covered all my mistakes. Oh, well, that's, uh, you, can't, you love people like that. Yeah. We all need people like that, actually. <laughs> well, it's a, a pleasure to meet you guys today. Likewise. Um, best of luck to you with this film. It sounds hilarious, and I can't wait to see it. Oh, well, thank you. Hoot and holler. All right. What's that? Hoot and holler. <laughs> Hoot and holler. <laughs> thank well, you. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Real TV Films. Oh, yeah, you bet. Real TV, thanks, you bet.